I, I happen to interact, not meet, but interact with um, CMR from, from what's the name? Christian? The Carter family. The Carter family, yeah. My dupes them. You know, which 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 was kind of weird and interesting all at the same time because... I'm telling you, I don't know if we said this in the How We Met video, but when we met, we literally talked 24-7. Yep. I, I don't know when we slept. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And turn on notification bell right there. Good morning, peace. Welcome back to our channel. And for all our new viewers, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, we're going to look at adventure time. Adventure? You know, you know, I mean, it's a busy day. You know, we, we as you can see, we're on the road taking um, this one to see the doctor. Oh, yeah, she, I'm going to go check out this Brookfoot. Because she fell off the, off the stairs. Yes. Not down, but no, off. Didn't fall down. She was on the stairs and then she wasn't anymore in a very. A, a horizontal position. You yeah, understand? So we gotta take her to the last stop to see the doctor again, a follow up or something like that. Yeah, so that's the first stop. Then we're heading by um, by the apartment because we gotta um, remove a couple of furniture that that we have in the, the apartment. Yeah. I'm trying to get rid of that. But on a different note, um, I, I happen to interact not meet but interact with um cmr from from what's the name christian the carter family the carter family yeah My dupes them. you know which 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 was kind of weird and interesting all at the same time because this has been watching these people for like you want to say years maybe May I watch them from long time? <laughs> from long time, right? And she kind of wrote me uh, into from it. From when I got onto vlogs. Once I start watching vlogs, I just... It's nothing to the um to the non-Caribbean vloggers. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's nice to see people who you can relate to. Yeah. And them I do it and I do it right and I do it yeah. well, isn't it? So, yeah, them... Um, so, CMR was on a, on a live... TikTok live last night because I you know all this was happening like I want to say 12 last night so I was actually asleep but to me some of a sleeper and check and messages check and all them something eh? which I, I don't know that's a bad habit yeah so me don't know me just see it and me jump on it me jump on it because I'm like yo what them people are let's always I watch and show always I, you know I, I try to get me for watch it and so me jump on and you know they, like they have some little TikTok battle going on and thing and uh, get a shout out and with a you know, with a converse conversate is that a word uh -huh. um for a little bit so it kind of felt like uh, I don't the same way how we feel about um Kempo it's just a community of yeah. people and then you know? if you know say all right you know you have to see them people upon your by your TV if you are one no one. It seems Isn't a little it? bit more, they're a little bit more, um, what do you call it? Accessible. Yeah, yeah. Because on the TV, you know, uh, it's like recorded, you're not communicating with anybody. Yeah, I, and I'm, the comments, even if you comment, you, you wait a few days for anybody to really respond. And but it, on a live, and then the thing is, you're not, you're not even sure if the personality of them are pro tree you know the vlogs them yeah. or the, is it authentic but then i see him exact somebody funny enough chrissy's a little bit more like all right because like she always to me she's seemed like reserved on the yeah she seemed so proper and then last night me i said, me I said all right mama seem like a, a real down to earth you know yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, you, you get see him or the same yeah, same, see him same thing you see me? Yeah. so it it, it kind of make it make them seem more real I'm, I like kind of with them, them and like yeah. normal people. Yeah. That, that 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 was good. That was a a good interaction. Oh, Hopefully. Well, green one there with the with know. the brown panel. Oh, it not have no coffee in there though. So yeah, um, so them seem more real and you know like, so it was a good vibe. So we oh, can get for Kanek and I read the more time again like that. Is it? It was a good vibe. So good vibes. You gotta say that again. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. How may we help you? What are you talking about? Oh, I thought about in, in in terms of some of the people, some of them want to come over here, yeah? or them end up in a certain situation with woman. I'm a couple. 
do they end up in that though? Like, I don't know. They're like, I don't know if people change. I said, it could be that because me, I assume to them, their money I must do them for like from before. People change because some people, I mean, I'm somebody who came over here and the person that they were with was portraying themselves one way, yeah. it wasn't actually that way. When you finally, you know, them say, if you know me, I live with me at two different things or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but you know, that is the beauty of me. I am. Exactly. This way all the time. Oh. I'm telling you, I only, I'm only a mild version of myself when I'm at work, when I'm dealing with people that honestly they just hypersensitive and I know and I don't wanna, I don't really care about them like that. But I'll tell you that them times I am. Because if it was me, right? Me that I'm a cold so and. You know, you weren't who you are. You, you show me a different face. Different, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm not stay. Yeah. So it's either I'm going to go to Boops and find a bridge and find a family, mm -hmm. or I'm just trying to ship out for my own and I take it from this. And if there's no way out otherwise, I'm just go back home. Now, all my life, I've been self sufficient. Mm -hmm. You see me? But me, for me, I lick a picnic. But I'm in a primary school, I feel. Alright, I have to save that money so I can eat some dinner later. So mommy can eat some dinner later. So they'll go on to can eat some dinner. Six years come home so I need my books then. Mommy can eat it for me, so I figure it out forget it for myself. Mm. For me, I look a picnic, I take care of myself, I'm gonna take care of my siblings and my mother. You see me? So <clears throat> But now like certain things, no oh, bro. I mean a man, me no me no fear that a hardship. Yeah. Me, me, a man, me, no, me, 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 me walk out and I, I work in the dirt, the grime. Yeah. You see, me, me no free the hard work. So, me now call me so, and then just take certain things and just, you know, oh, no. But and also, it uh, it's confused me. Like, I guess there are women out there who want to be not with just, somebody. Definitely. It's that way because just like how you have man where like yeah, just like how you have man where like be in charge and them feel them weird. Yeah, women want to see like that too. Who they like? They want to just be in charge. The, the, the more. Yeah, I guess I'm just. I don't want that. That's probably the thing. It's like I, I wouldn't look at you in the same light. Like I couldn't respect you as a man. Yeah. If I if you're able to be bossed around and ugh, that would just not be attractive. To me, maybe that's attractive to other people. Everybody yeah, like different that. things, isn't it? Mean, them like you know whatever. But I, you know, it's it's interesting because I think there's just a balance. On one hand, I don't want anybody who can be bossed around or anything. It's not just the respect, credo. I just wouldn't be attracted mm -hmm. to that person, right? To be in a in relationship with them. Right. But also, West. there has to be a level of respect where you don't think you can talk to me any sort of way because I don't take them kind of disrespectful kind of something there I'm reasonable I listen to reason but I don't take the well, no, but the way I, um, see, some some men are talk to some women are um yeah that that's not me alright so <laughs> even, uh, even before because for me growing up one, it was always my way or the highway. And I was simply because of how I grew up, the environment that I grew up in. I was always kind of left to kind of figure stuff out by myself, on my own. Yo, even something as simple as your know, homework and them something. Well, you probably don't ask, but if more I do it or not, it was kind of left up to me. You see me a certain kind of way. Your know, schoolwork, like, like everything has been your know, my decision and mine to make solely. So I grew up with that, you know, kind of mindset. But as you get older, you start getting introduced to different ways of doing things. As a man where I grew up, I have a little bit of sense, not too much, but a little bit. You can sit down and you can, you know, reason things out. Does this make sense or doesn't make sense? Does it work for me? Can it work for me? Or it won't work for me? 
You see me? And even when I grew up as a young man, she didn't even know I had a whole for relationship or none at all. I had a level or a baseline of respect for women when I never crossed. I never talked talk to women in a dis disrespective manner or style them like oh, a someone style woman. You understand? So, that in terms of me being in a relationship, I never talked to a woman a particular kind of way. Even though I still don't no talk to no woman, a woman can't tell me to do this or that. You can't talk from nobody, babe. Not one single you me? human being exists. Nobody. You just you not take charge. Yeah, so, but you know, as we I've get older now, you. yeah. But as we, oh. but as we get older now, we start three different. Me I say yo in our relationship, and this is what work for me. It I work for everybody. Everybody yeah, have their own. Yeah, but like it take chat anytime. No. Well, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not take chat, babe. Yeah, but me big enough for someone to say yo, free myself and say you know say okay, you know say that makes sense. Yes, you are. As I always say, you're reasonable to the point of you will listen. Even if you are grows early, I listen, and then uh, one hour you you I think to yourself and you say, you know, so that make little sense. Yeah. And if you're not agree fully, you always come up with a compromise. Yeah, like a middle ground, like yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You still so like you. You know, stuck in your ways and I said, nah, do that cause if I use it so something else. You know, some people say like, if I'm not my thing, me not want to hear it. You see me? So, and then like, what's the point of being with somebody? Who, I mean, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some crooked women out there where you just can't take advice from. Why the hell are you with a crooked person to, to, to start with? You see me? The woman where you got to decide to say, alright, this is going to be white. This is the person we're going to settle down with. And most of them have exceptional skills and aptitudes and capabilities. You understand? Oh, that's so nice, babe. Thank you. Of course, babe. I'm not going to be a flower, flower woman. You see me? I'm also somebody who, you know, can help uplift me and, you know, who me can do this. You know, who me see have the potential to be uplifted as well. But the two we can reach to a different and higher level. Together, you see me? Yeah. Together. So, I mean, if, if you're a woman who you're there with, there's somebody where can't do that for you who can't sit down and give advice and give positive advice then you you, you, made, you made a wrong choice you went you t you made a wrong turn somewhere in life bro G. you see me not only that i think that you have to be aligned you have to want similar things if your goals and dreams are not aligned or if they cannot become aligned because some of the things that we are aspiring to now it's not stuff that i've ever dreamed of it's something you introduce to yeah. me and i'm like wow you know you're really yeah, this whole sense. generational wealth thing like i did not think about that okay i was just trying to as i said in or rum and reason check it out i'll post it here but i was just aspiring to buy my mother a house yeah. i wanted to be a doctor but only because I figured that would help me to buy my mother a house. That was my limit. After those things were achieved, I didn't really have anything that I was aspiring to. Yeah. Until I met you and you started talking about being an entrepreneur and all these things. And I'm like, you know, so that, that's something that kind of so nice. And, <laughs> I and, mean, I do it. And your old, old so, dynamic work. So I've always wanted to be, you know, to have something for myself, you know, yes. and it, I, I wasn't thinking, I, I didn't know of the term generational wealth, mm. but I knew that I wanted something that I, that was mine, yeah. that, that could use to take care of my family, even when I'm a devil. You always said you wanted a legacy, you want something yeah. that would pass down. No, yeah, you That's see That's what me? you always said, and so, I'm like, mm. I always want that. But you And this what? is where Lace come in now and provide do things and I'm like it. She's like, all right, babe. We see where you are. Our life experiences are different, so yeah. maybe I've experienced something and said, wait, maybe you could use this yeah. that I went through. But not only that, too. I think some, something that was limiting you too, babe. You have imposter syndrome. You don't think as highly of yourself. Your dreams are here, but you think this much of yourself. Here's the thing with me. I'm, I am pretty hard on myself when it comes on to something that I'm really interested in and, and work that I'm trying to do. Mm. That's me. If I'm if I'm genuinely interested in something, if I can't get 110 percent, then it bothers me. So, like, I be working on something, right? And everybody's like, "Yo, this is good work. Love it, dread." But for me, it feels average at best. And that's imposter. Well, if, I guess if that's what imposter syndrome you, is, I, then you know that's what I have. But I also feel like you're always questioning, like, oh. 
am I supposed to I don't think this is for me because I didn't do it perfect in two seconds you don't give yourself time if it's something new that you're you're um, doing to learn it you already expect it all right me know about it now so I should I know for doing it in that two seconds and it's like calm down first of all the fact that you're halfway through it and you only started it two seconds ago is already something to be celebrated so that's something I think was holding you back and I wonder how this manifested when you were younger and how it was holding you back in general because I don't think this is something that you just developed I think now is in when we just learned came with a terminology for it yeah. but it must have been manifesting itself since you were a little boy growing up you I can't imagine it just that a big dreams just yesterday no. you know I, I wonder but, but that's something I know I've learned about you that wow you're so capable and just so smart so wise uh, but you are so down on yourself you always think that you are less than or you're not as good as and it's just like what are you talking about <laughs> what are you talking about and you know said so that can actually affect how you do your work even when they're at school like if you already think say, you know so I'm not even good at this time I'm not gonna be so as good at it I'm not even gonna try it's almost like perfectionist maybe but like I if I can't do something like like I grade myself like people will give me grade and that's good and fine and dandy but when the, 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 the one that really matters to me is the grade that I give myself to so kind of tie back this into what we originally talked about so it's the compliment you see me as as, the, as we get older and realize say, oh, what's important is not just my way or the highway or me or the boss everybody have to listen to me have to find some somebody that compliments you one thing you used to do is you used to talk about oh you have to make you have to mess up and screw up and something you have to learn and i'm always like babe that's not the smart way you should learn from other people's mistakes and and things that go wrong with other people you shouldn't uh, the goal should never be i have to screw up all the time every time if it if you're working smart not hard you really should be observing everything and everybody around you and learning from them too just as much as you're learning from your own experiences and that's something that you stay like held on tightly to when we met like no i have to do it i i know it it, it you know it's a 95% chance I'm gonna work, but at least if I screw up, I will learn. I'm like, or you could just look at Mr. Guy over there. Like, Guy over there did the same thing, and this is what happened. Maybe you should shift it up a little bit. I, I, and you know, you know what is so funny about that, babe? I think that 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 stems from the fact that I didn't have guidance growing up from my father. Right? You know, like as a youth, I, I have your father. You know, that, that person that be the person for kind of teach you and show you certain things so you can learn from his experience it's because we never have that that instructor there or that instructor figure there in the house so everything i learned was on a trial and error error basis right let me try this and see if it worked and then that became like such a a stapler the way that i learned that i just kind of you know held on to that because i didn't have anybody sitting me down and say all right dre Listen, it's not how you do this, and if you do it this way, it's not going to work. Cause trust me, we do it before, and it don't work like that. Is that what I say? Mm -hmm. So, like, growing up as a, as a youngster, as a youth, everything that I learned was from Sorry, me. I was texting my boss. Yeah, everything that I learned was from me trying something. I don't know if it's going to work, but I have an idea. Yeah. Let me see. And so, for me, it was like, you know, you learn best from your mistakes, your losses, but which you is true. You learn. have to learn but from. You, you, you don't, oh, you don't um, solely have to learn from that. No, but you were so determined. Like, that's the only way I can learn. Yeah. And I'm like, come on now. You've got to work smart, not hard. I don't know when in my life I learned that. And you talk about you being lazy, but I have lazy tendencies too. Like, that's one of my lazy tendencies. I don't want to have to go through all of that. I if wheel, I saw, yeah. yeah, and you don't have to because of the world we're living in. If, if, if you think about something, it's even partially have been tried maybe not fully maybe you're coming up with something a little bit more novel yeah um or partially novel and you can apply things but come on why do you think we learned history in school it's not so that yeah, no. oh you could just know all that history it's so we could learn from it funny enough, i don't need to be doing all of that extra stuff I funny enough will spin i said one time that you know there's there's no new questions nope 
You see me? And all of the answers that all the questions all the answers to questions you have can be found in a book somewhere. So there's no new questions, right? And um but as a youngster I'm not tech talk and and this is how this is when I started to kind of my mind shift started to shift. Is when I met Lacey and we started to have like deep conversations. Like yeah, we used to chat while even up. Wally. Hey, we had chat and meeting our people in them class and we just the text and I go back and forth and I feel like we never one when we met. I'm telling you, I don't know if we said this in the how we met video, but when we met, we literally talked 24 oh, seven. Yep. I, I don't know when we slept. Yep. It's either if we're not doing anything, we're on a video or we're texting obsessively. Like we were obsessed yes. with each yeah. other. <laughs> and cause, cause for me, that was the first, that was the first girl that I like I genuinely had conversations with. Like all the other girls, I mean, because you know, we was for the streets back then. I didn't think, you see me? <laughs> them girls, when I talk to them girl, you see me? Yo, yo, link up with that one, forward. And that, but this was the first one that, like, I actually sat down and had some really deep, like, conversations with. And that's when. And also not deep. We talked about everything. No, it's not. No, it's not just that. It's yeah. not just deep. It's, we talk about uh, uh, everything, right? I mean, you're talking. 24/7. Yeah. You had to have talks about all sorts of all sorts of <laughs> And and that's when you know my because Lacey challenged my ideals a lot and just the way I thought the um, the, the norms just me. At the end of the day, the the, 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 the aim is for both away, away. Yeah. Yeah. And that that had the concept where enough of them, enough of Jamaican man, them, them them refuse to get because at the end of the day, two heads. Better than one, bro. Be each other's cheerleader. I can't tell you how many times that he's just been there, like, come on, babe, you could do it. Um, when I didn't feel that way, or he could sense that I don't feel that way. You really need that. Yeah, but you know, growing up in the, the society and the culture that we grew up in, if you try that 50 50 thing, then I'm gonna go say you're submissive. I'm gonna go say but this, I don't even know if it's 50 50. I feel like it's whatever percent it has to be for whatever day. Some days, yeah, maybe yeah. he's carrying 80, I'm carrying oh, 20. Or, yeah, 80 and 90. 80 80 and 90. I'm sorry, much. Can I roll? <laughs> you know, maybe it's another day it's switched around. Maybe I'm carrying the 80 and he's carrying. But you have to be malleable and be able to be. Sorry, Adapt. You have to be flexible. Flexible, you know? Um, I mean, nobody goes to me. I use what you can be. Because, cause, cause, uh, when we are pre, me say, all right, bro. You say, yo, you know, you wear the highway. You not gonna always up. Life is set in such a way where today you're up, tomorrow you're down. What are you gonna do when that comes around? Cause it, it are gonna you know. I know if. It, it are gonna happen, right? Yeah. So what are you gonna do in that situation when you set up your dynamic with your woman in such a way where I just you. Everything falls to you. What got me them time there? Where you get your strength from when you need some 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 external strength? What yeah. got happen, bro? J, you understand? Maybe that's it's the mentality that you don't think you'll ever need that. That's keeping people and, uh, and, uh, feeling the way how they feel. Like maybe it's well, I will never get to that. I'm I'm less than what I am now, so I don't ever have to be this way to a person because I won't need them in that. From, from from primary school in this uh, Jamaica, no man is island. No man stands alone. That's true. We do learn that. But Every day they have to recite that. that. I'm a red. You're a red? It's a personality test that I took when I wanted those what leadership. Color am I? I did it before. I think you're like, like blue, blue or, or green or something like that. I feel like red and blue must be opposites because blue is like I remember I had you take that. I think I had you take that personality and test. I got I'm going to call it. was something that's the opposite of me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a red, so I'm like, I'm creative, I'm, I'm vibrant, I'm bold. Yeah, I mean you're I'm a complete. fire sign, but am I also not a fire sign? I think you know what the type of Leo that I am. I am that you know when you got this when you see the lion, them, them just dead asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind them business. I them, you can't get them fever, get to find nothing. Yeah. That's that's I'm that lion. I'm just not trying to bite your head off or attack you. You not about me, me not about you. Listen, really, I wish all I know about Lacey. And when I say I have a lace, 
I mean somebody where not exactly like me. No. Somebody who's your compliment. Yeah, yeah. Somebody who I got compliment. Somebody who gonna help you. Somebody yes. who's who gonna fill in the you're gaps that you're gonna grow missing. together yeah. and reach higher heights. Cause yes, that's the goal, right, babe? Yeah. Yeah. So a big up on the side. Like, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on notification bell right there.